First of all, some of the examples here and there of his words, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about arahma in this deen. We already learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the very mission of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in helping his ibad, the ibad of Allah, to attain ubudiyya. He described him subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have sent you, O Muhammad, but as a rahma to the world. And I'm going to keep the word rahma as is. I told you, my dear brothers and sisters, yesterday, I am not going to translate the word rahma into mercy. And I told you why. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in an authentic hadith reported by, for instance, uh, <coughs> Al-Imam Ahmad and Al-Tirmidhi and others, and I think I, I did share this with you yesterday, لا تنزع الرحمة إلا من شقي Rahma is deprived only from a person who is miserable. In other words, he's saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam, if you see a person without Rahmah, that person, if not really in misery, will be in misery. Or a nation. Because we also learned that he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لا يرحم الله من لا يرحم الناس. Individuals and nations. Allah will not grant rahma to those who do not show rahma to people. Anas, all anas. And to teach us about the profound rahma of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in this deen, he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in another authentic hadith, the last part of which says, فَلَوْ يَعْلَمِ الْكَافِرُ مَا أَوْ بِكُلِّ الَّذِي عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ لَمْ يَيْأَسْ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ If a kafir were to know, if an unbeliever were to know how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has of rahma, the kafir would not despair of entering jannah. And he continued to say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, وَلَوْ يَعْلَمِ الْمُؤْمِنُ بِالَّذِي عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ لَمْ يَأْمَنْ مِنَ النَّارِ And if the mu'min, the believer, were to know what sort of punishment Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala holds, then the mu'min, the believer, would never be confident enough to that he would never enter Jahannam. The balance is brought. Huh? The first part is also the part of Rahmah. The worst of all human beings, the worst of all of us, should never despair from the Rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Contingent upon the fact that we show a Rahmah to the world, to others. لأن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الله لا يرحم من لا يرحم الناس. 